Hello everybody, Nathan here with another My Test Mod Review. Today we're looking at the Valleys map, Jen. And now, um, oh hey, sweet. Give initial stuff is working. Yush. Totally unrelated to this video, but something that was giving me trouble in something else I was working on. So, happy that that has kicked in. Uh, first thing you might notice going in is that this is a very, um, let's say we say very non-normal map gen world. Um, and that's one of the nice things that Valley Map Gen does, is it gives you, whoa, 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 it gives you some really very different world terrain than you would get with just the standard version 6 or version 7 map gen. Now, don't quote me on this. But I'm fairly certain that the normal map gens are not Lua. I could be entirely wrong. I'm not positive. This one is. So that's why you'll notice the um, world gen speeds seem to be a little bit on the low side. Um, but there's no super dark jungles, which is always exciting. Whoa, until you fall into a hole like that. I need some light here. I need to hear the sea. Okay, I think I can make that drop. Yeah. Um, I don't think I could make that one, though. No, that would kill me. Okay, so, let's see if we can't find another biome outside of this jungle. A little bit of desert sand sprinkled in there for flavor and variety. Uh, no, I should mention I am playing this. Ooh, what is this? I am playing this with just default and then valley map gen. Um, I am using a custom texture pack that I am working on. Um, but I meant to sandy dirt. Hmm. So the valley map gen adds a few new nodes. There is this sandy dirt. I believe there's also a uh, clayey dirt, it's called. Um, which is a little more... Oh, actually, I think we can see them both right here. Uh, let me just grab one of these. I think that's just normal dirt. And there you may have noticed a little bit of lag. Again, that's because this map gen makes heavy use of different elements. Yep, so we have sandy dirt, normal dirt, and clayey dirt. So we get a couple action nodes there. Um, a few new tree styles, I think. But just really some amazing landscapes are thrown together from this map, John. And like I said, this probably won't run quite as well on a lower end machine. Um, because again, it does make heavy use of 3D Perla noises. Which I forget what the quantity was that's used, but it's it's enough that uh, if you don't have a decent rig, you're going to be bogged down. And I mean, it's playable on my machine right now, but this is just with default and the map gen. I don't have anything else, so if I had, you know, throw a couple mobs in here, um... And then do like, oh, I don't know, Mexicans or Pipeworks or something. Or Home Decor. Something that adds a lot of nodes. We would probably be noticing a lot more lag. I'm, honestly, I'm trying to get to an edge of a world. And it seems like I can't do that. Um, Mapgen seems to be keeping up with me as I'm walking here. Uh, I feel like if I gave myself fast privs, I could run and get through to the edge of the world faster than the map could generate to keep up with me. But with just default seems to be working well. Oh, okay, now here is one of the... Uh, never mind. Oh, so here's one of the many waterways that this map then introduces. But there's not really a waterway. Um, this looks like it's a new dirt. Red clay? Yeah, it's new. That's something that's in default. Here we go. Here's a river. The river map gen is, well, 
Why am I saying river? This is valley map, Jen. Um, there may be one called river. I'm not positive. But this map, Jen, does have a lot of rivers and waterways, which is pretty sweet. Of course, it also adds up a little extra computational power because you're doing all the calculations for fluids, which are still super slow. I don't know why. Other than because any changes that anybody has suggested, they either haven't coded themselves or they, they've been coded, but they just haven't been merged. I'm just going to get some wood real quick here. And build myself a boat. That is if I can remember how to build a boat. There we go. Just run down this run down this waterway here some. Um that's right. Boat do not rotate with your view. So yeah, we get these these really nice rivers. Um, boats sometimes do some funny stuff in them, like that, and I think I lost my boat there. And I also seem to have got myself stuck. Okay, I really don't know what is going on here. Um, maybe I didn't lose my boat. No, I didn't. still have my boat. Alright. It's a little brighter. Can't tell where I'm going here. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, see, that's one of the things. I don't know why that happens. I don't know if it's a fault of the boats or if it's a fault of the waterways because of the mix of water sources and everything there. Um. Yeah, let's just get off the boat. So, and you may notice this, I think, is the river water, which was recently added to default. There's a, I don't know, ocean water, lake water, sea water, whatever you want to call it, normal water. And there's river water, which is a lighter, um, lighter hue, lighter shade, lighter shade, I think. Hue would be if it was a different color. So, massive, massive waterways. Which, if you are a nautical person, you will doubtless appreciate. Um, and yeah, just some really, really sweet terrain. Um, you know, more so than what you get in just your normal map gens. So, I mean, I would recommend this. If you have, if you've got a computer that can handle it. Well, like I said, it it is a little slow. It does run a little heavy on resources because of just the uh, the amount of detail and difference in terrain here. But I mean, once you let it gen up the the chunks that you're in, and then you're just revisiting those chunks and stuff, you probably really won't notice too much lag because it's already all been uh, generated, I guess, I don't know, and now it's just reading it out of a database, so I can't imagine that reading this map gen from a database would run any slower than running, you know, your default, um, either version 6 or version 7 or even version 5 or anything. I mean, yeah, there's more nodes, but I don't think it's going to have any impact on performance. So... That's about it. Um, I don't think there's snow biomes in here. I could be wrong. Chances are I am. But uh, let's just do... Of course, I don't remember how to do this. Grant single player. Oh, there we go. Um... Wait, I want fast move in here. Here we go, moving fast, edge of the world. And yes, we went faster than the map gen could keep up. Faster than the map gen could keep up. But 
This is just to give you an idea of the rolling landscape that is provided by this map gen. Oh, wow. Impressive, impressive stuff. Again, try it out. You won't be sorry. Um, oh, I should mention, this only works, to my knowledge again, on a new world. So if you have an existing world and you want to use this, I do not believe you can, because this actually re... What's the word here? It sets your map gen, basically, to be a single node or super flat or something like that. I forget exactly how it was worded. And then it uses its own map gen. So I'm 99% sure this will not work on an existing world. And if it does, it's only going to modify the unexplored parts. So you're pretty much going to have to pack your bags and leave your home and everything that you know. And uh, travel to distant foreign lands to admire the beauty of the new map gen. Oh, hey, lava. Lava this close to the surface. Not expected. Well, yeah, that's uh, like negative, negative two. Usually don't expect to find lava that low. Well, I think this about covers things, guys. Um, as always, I will have the download link in the description. And I think that's about it. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next week.